What's up everyone? Today we're gonna do some more snakehead fishing. That's right, but I got a guest out of state. It's Mr. Todd Grubbs. Woo! What's, What's up, up, boys and girls? Dude, look at this. First thing we see is trash on the floor. Love that. I like a bag though, because it says nature on it. Right. It's a bag, so it's a good thing because we could use it to pick up other trash. Today, what the heck is that over there? I just moved by turtle. We are gonna see if Todd get himself a snakehead or two or three. Let's go. All right, the first thing I want to throw is, because Jimbo is uh, funny, is a BFS setup. We're gonna throw this stick bait, and we'll go around and see if we catch some snake heads. But uh, yep, that's Jimbo. Hopefully uh, we got some spots to cast into because you see everything's grown out now. I should have been doing this springtime, but this is my new reel here. I got the Cast King. This is a Royal Legend GT, and I got the spool. They have a BFS spool, by the way. Sold on AliExpress, not on Amazon, not in the US. You guys can check the link in the description below, non affiliate, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this. But I am throwing this three gram lure. I swapped to single hooks because I am not dealing with snakeheads with freaking treble hooks. Trebles means trouble. All right, let's go. All right, I don't know if I can land a snakehead with this. What, that? What? Light setup? Yeah. Have you not tried yet? No, first time out with this. It's gonna be so funny. I'm doing this very, very, very small stick bait. Walking the dog. Like if I, if I nail a small one, that's still fine. I, I just want one. I'm looking over there and it's like, it's very, very weedy and I don't think I can, Oh God. <laughs> He's right there. He just follow up on you. Are you kidding me? Oh man. <laughs> Think you'd hit again. Oh yeah, you get it in there quick. Oh, it's alright, they'll wherever you land it to, they likely uh gotta try to go there when you go too fast. So right. it's okay to cast like five times next to each other each other. That's why they kind of fan cast and you kinda draw like you know little lines. Right, right, right. Walk the dog, just walk the dog. Oh, got him. Got him. Yes. Dude, that small little guy made an explosion. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about, man. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, this is like a freaking ditch in the road. Are there any fish here? We'll find out. Yes, I'm going with the smaller frog. It's actually fun. <laughs> Where'd you get the bite? Right where I just cast it. There you go. I told you there's stuff here, man. Oh, no idea. We have to find out. Oh, he missed me. Missed me. That's a nice pop. Still missing? Yeah. Maybe it's a sunfish Could be, but that's a nice pop. Never know if there's a bigger one. Oh, that's too thick over there. That's for you. Look, there's some, some stuff moving right here. A uh, snakehead? Yes! What the heck? Come on, man! Yes, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, oh. I wasn't recording, damn it! Whew. Jimmy's got a snake. Look at that. Versatile finesse, On baby. The tiny, tiny, tiny frog. A baby snakehead. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> How cool is that in this tiny little freaking mud hole? <laughs> and a 
of all places here. Watch out for the car. These guys are relentless. Yeah, let's be out of here. There's, there's no point of trying to catch, you know, fish here. If we have a chance to get hit by a car. Uh-oh. Oh. Is that on me? Ah, another one. I came off. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, so little, snakes. little snakes, man. It hit me again. You could probably put like a, a weightless plastic and get it deep and hook them all. But yeah, likely someone took the babies and just threw it right in here. And now, who knows? Who knows how long it's got to stay here for? There's water coming in. That's fresh water coming in. It's probably from uh, that swamp earlier. It's all connected, I think. Or maybe from there. Look behind us. Yeah. Hit again. Hit again. Yep, 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 yep. Hit again. Hit again. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Got another one. Oh my gosh. Micro snaking today, baby. Wow. Look at that. Look at this guy. Dude, this, that's oh, yo. so cool. Oi, 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 oi. Oh Dude, my they, gosh. They do not. They can't even. They haven't even really touched my frog. I got tapped once, but. They're so little. Yeah, I got to get the gripper. Oh, not the gripper, the. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Dang it. Oh, well. Bye. Okay, guys. I want to take this opportunity to talk about my setup that I caught the two snakeheads with. So I got the Tatula SVTW. This is my first uh, SV reel, and it's amazing. Like I spooled up halfway only with 15 pound braided line, and I'm not able to cast this freaking four gram frog that I got from Bait Finesse Empire. I put it on my Casking Pair G2. This is a medium light action rod, and it's rated down to 1 8 ounce. So yeah, I got some good distance with it. Todd was pretty darn surprised and amazed. And he does own this reel, so <laughs> I gave him a frog to take home. So he will likely have some fun with that. I don't know what he's gonna do with it, but we'll shall see. But let me go cast some more and see if I catch some fish with this. If not, like I said, I really, really wanna put the dangle frog back on because man, uh, Todd was doing some major, major slaying earlier. Did you go all the way down to the end? Yep, there was a big blob, but my lure is too, uh, too light to go through those uh, thick stuff, so I just came back. Oh, like you saw it blow up and didn't blow up on it? Yeah. In the way back? No. Oh! Ah, got him! Got him! Stinky, stinky! Let's go! Dude, I'm having a blast here with these micro snake heads. Again. Look at that. You can't even see that he swallowed it. Look, he's shaking. He freaking chowed. Oh man. Whoop, whoop. Chowed. All right, let me get this thing situated. All right, folks, look at this guy. Tiny little fish with a big appetite. Woo! He's hungry. All right, let me, uh, let me do my magic here, guys. All right, unfortunately, I'm back with the Z-Man frog because I'm lazy and, uh, I don't want to walk back to the car. That's a dumb move right there because there is a freaking fish behind me. I watched the entire time. That's why I was so silent. I wait for the hookup. Like if I had the dangle frog right there, it would have gotten it, but it hit my legs. I so I still see it behind me. Like, I still want to trim the frog leg right i just can't do it not until uh i get a full episode on a kayak where i actually have you know you know like less pressured fish i just want to show the fact that when you try to fish with the legs look he's right behind me like legs like that you know it's gonna be snipping those legs constantly snakeheads does that okay they do that 
and you don't want that, right? So you're supposed to use frogs with less legs, no legs, shorter legs, pick one, doesn't matter. Oh. It got me. Right when I landed. It just got me in my tail again. Hiya. Huh. Ah, got him! Got him! Yes! Oh no! No! Hiya, man. I almost had it with a stick bait. That's like one of my things I need to cross off. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Whew. Ultralight, very flimsy. They have strong jaws, so even with braided line, sometimes you can't set the hook, man. Wonder if he bites again. He missed me. Still there. It's so fun. It's so free. Oh, he's like right the I, I pulled too fast. You can't do that, Jimbo. You can't do that. You know better. You know better. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> ah. Definitely a better one. Woo. Back on a tiny frog. Oi, oi, oi. More than just a bite. Fish on. Jimmy got another one. Look at that. Sweet. Let me get the big cam. So we made a leopard grip too, so I can open the mouth for you. It helps uh, help you see the inside. All right, well, Todd's gonna do some filming because he came all the way down here pretty far. So Jimbo's gonna shut off the camera and let him do his thing. BRB. <sighs> all right. I think I got enough footage, folks, for uh, that tiny frog. It's freaking fun. I am getting blow ups like in the weedy spots, of course. But a lot of times I come by the open spots and, you know, the fish hit. So I really, really, really want to cross this off my list with this uh, stick bait. I could put treble hawks on it, but as you guys know my policy, troubles are troubles. Especially with snake head or death rows. The death row put the hook right on you and rip that thing right back off you. So you definitely, definitely don't want to use any sort of treble hooks. Heck, I mean, double hook like this is still kind of dangerous, but it's better than uh, troubles. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, got it right to the edge. The wind is down. Which is nice. So he was right behind me. I just gotta keep going. Maybe he will smash it again. Yeah, I'm not waiting for him. If he wants it, he wants it. If he doesn't want it, he's right behind me. Hi. They really, really love stick baits. Someone need to make a micro hollow body stick bait. Like I got a big one, so annoy ya. It does work. I caught some uh, fish. In fact, um, when I was with uh, Todd here, the first time I met him, when he came down to fish with me, it was like hollow week of Halloween. It was storming, it was like end of hurricane season. It's like coming strong. And all day, I only caught one snakehead when he came. He didn't catch anything, and you know he went home with no uh, no footage, other than you know photo with Jimbo. But yeah, man. Um, 
I really, really, really like stick baits, which is why I also like Zoom, uh, Flukes, or, you know, uh, Z-Man. Z-Man lures, oh man, they float, you walk the dog. I like to use the VMC with the ring on it because they actually make it walk a little bit better with the braid. If you need really, really, really need to do your finesse twitching and it's just, uh, to keep the lure in uh, the strike zone longer, you definitely want it with the loop. So anyways, let me get this in here because I feel like this thing is wrapped up here and uh, you know, I want to save this chat. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. All right, we're gonna push this rod to the limit and the reel because I swapped over to this guy here because I wanted the medium light action for my stick bait. But let's see if this reel could even handle this three gram lure. That frog is at uh, four grams. This is a lot lighter. Okay, so definitely gonna have to adjust some of my braking casting style because this is a lot lighter. All right, but I'm hoping that with this right here because it's a lot stiffer maybe i'll get my hook set the hook set that i need to catch that fish so let me uh get tuned in and hopefully we'll catch some fish with this freaking stick bait yes it's no longer bfs but i still want to catch the fish with a stick bait this thing is very short but uh it is what it is it's all right i can get some of these uh waters here And I feel that because this rod is a lot stiffer, I'm just basically dragging this through so much faster. All right. And a lot of muck. All right. Oh, wow. Dude, that's pretty close to uh, the other rod. So that's actually not bad. All I need to do is get that fish to bite again. And I should be good to go. I should be able to set the hook like no tomorrow. Hey, turtle, what's up? Get out of the way. Get, 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 get. Ah, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh no, came off. Hey, uh, man, come on. Hey, uh. All right, let's take a look at the hooks. See how things are. But yeah, I, I actually pulled them out of the water. And as you see, even with these small little hooks, open hooks, I can't get them. Oh my gosh, hold up. Look at this. Look at that. This thing is bent. Uh, let's see. Let me try to re-angle. Look at this. Look at that. He bent the crap out of that one. I guess I'll bend it back and give it a shot and uh, see if I get another fish. But die. All right. All right. I said to hook a little late on that one. That's my fault. It went down. I forgot this is not a frog, but he's here. Let's get it. Got him. 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 Let's get him in. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Get in both of them. Another one. Let's see how bad this hook is bent now. Yep. Same hook. Same hook. Being bent out. But they're here. They are here. Got him. Got him. Jeez, these snake heads are there. And this time I'm gonna just drag it up because I wanna see if I can get it up. I'm gonna give myself a line, keep the rod tip high. All right, this time I'm not trying to boat flip him because Mike blo boat flips everything, you know what I'm saying? All right, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Finally, on a stick bait, a real stick bait. Oh, see, it came right off so quick. This guy right here, oh! Hey, whatever. Ah, all right, it's, it is what it is. I did cross it off the list now. Woo -hoo. All right, guys, we're at the end of the day. Went back to where I picked out Todd and uh, found something interesting. So, Todd forgot his money, so I treated him lunch and now he's gonna pay me back. And we're gonna go right to his car and see exactly where his wallet is at. You guys ready for this? All right. Open up his door. This guy freaking had his wallet right here. Look at that. Look at that bill right there. This guy is freaking insane. 
insane. That was a one fun, inter interesting trip. Uh, Todd came very far down to catch some fish. I put on some fish, so he definitely enjoyed his time catching steakheads. Always a blast hanging out with Jimmy. He caught uh, the bigger ones. I let him throw some of the big frogs. I was too focused on throwing the small stuff because uh, you guys know me. I love to finesse game. Uh, finally got some fish on my new Tatula SVTW versatile finesse. It was it was fun. I tried. I really really tried BFS with that stick bait. It was really really unfortunate that it bent out a few times, but I finally got one. I got one. So that's great. So if you guys want to see more BFS fishing, let me know. BFS snakeheads fishing. I'll definitely try that. But I think versatile finesse fishing was will be my primary finesse way of catching snakeheads going forward. So if you guys are excited to see that, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Todd's uh, channel, Fishing Grubs. And um, <laughs> he's been doing a lot of saltwater stuff lately, and it's fun. I always I'm love living on the salt right now. Pretty I'm much just living on this the guy's pretty much tanned out. Look at that. Yeah, except for there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna let you guys go enjoy the rest of your day, cause I'm gonna go home and shower up and hang out with my little kiddo. And he's gonna go see his uh, two little girls. Two, one, two. Two little girls, like I said. It's gonna be a great night. Thanks, guys. Peace out. The fish don't wait. Go catch fish some fish. Fish don't wait. Fish out.